Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Trailhead Ranger NJ and it's been a while that we have made a video or uh, published it so I've been a uh, little busy with my own things so but here we are, we are back and today we are going to cover this maintenance uh, course that is the platform administrator certification maintenance of the spring 25 so how would you know that you have to complete this so you can go to your trailhead profile and there you can see the list of certifications and if they are uh, due for maintenance there will be a button in front of them uh, stating that complete maintenance and you will click on them and then it will launch a particular uh, trailhead module to complete the maintenance module and then the certificate will not expire so for me this is uh, one of the certificate which is due for the maintenance so i'll be covering uh, this and completing this module in this video so let's get start with this i'll start this and uh, we are having our first unit is maintain your platform administrator certification for spring 25 so there are certain things that they have uh, modified or enhanced uh, which they have informed us about uh, about that in this uh, unit and we'll be covering those we'll be understanding those so first thing first that is they had allowed us to include the permission sets in the permission set groups via summaries only so earlier what we used to do is we used to go all the way to the permission set groups then click on edit or manage and then uh, add the permission sets there or remove those there but now we have another enhanced option as well that is on the permission sets is itself you can click uh, uh, the view summary button on top of uh, the permission sets like on a particular permission set which you will be managing and then after clicking on view summary you will be seeing a list like this that is permission set information and there you can see certain tabs that is related permission set groups user permission object permission like that and in the related permission set groups you can add or remove the certain permission set group as well for the particular permission set so this has made us very uh, this has made it very easy for us to manage the permission set groups via the permission sets now the second thing say we talk about is that is sort list views by multiple columns so if you know that uh, we can only sort the list view using multiple co uh, sorry single column as of now we can just click on the header of the column and then it will sort it based on that ascending or descending but in case if you want to sort a particular list view by multiple columns then you can have that feature as well now so we can have up to five columns which we can sort at a time so what we need to do we need to select the columns which we need to sort by and then we can select if we want to sort by ascending or in the descending order and then if we in case we want to return to the uh, uh, sorry default uh, setting or the default sorting order you can just go back to the setting icon and select the reset column sorting option as well so that's one more option now if we talk about coordinate your sales teams activities with more transparency so in this feature they have allowed us uh, or the team to have the sales teams activities to be uh, tracked more actively so what they have introduced is a account plan or the sales action plans so using the sales uh, action plan we can have or support the sales team accountability and ensure that they are aligned with the team member activities uh, they there will be certain tasks or the events which they can be tracked you can see over here so there are uh, there are certain things like there is a account plan objective which is having a one objective and then there will be a strategic tracker section which can have multiple sales sections plan you can see create sales section plan button over here as well but uh, then each uh, sales section plan can have a limit of 100 tasks and the 100 events only so you can see how these can be tracked their status due date prerequisite even the priority as well you can even uh, set the reminder as well for the task similarly for even there are certain features as well like scheduled on is a doc item or is it required or not 
so there are certain things to that so basically the sales action plans extend the industry's action plans and it utilizes the same standard objects but it even include the unique event item type as well so for that what we need to do if we want to enable this uh, feature for our org we need to go to setup and then search for the sales action plans and assign the permissions and then we can create the sales action plan templates as well now to whichever object we want to have this we can have the sales action plan or the action plan in the related tab of that object page layout and then to access the sales action plans from a sales account plan object itself we need to click on the action plans from the objectives strategic tracker limits i have already told you that each objective that is the account plan objective can have a one strategic tracker section only and each section can have multiple sales action plan but each sales action plan can contain up to only 100 task and the 100 events so now let's come to the quiz for this our first question is where can the permission sets to be added to a permission set group so first option is from the permission set summary second is from the permission set group summary third option is from the user record page and then fourth option is a and b and the last one is b and c so i believe a and b should be the correct answer first is definitely correct uh, but uh, in the permission set group uh, summary um i'm just trying to recall if there is a, a summary option on the permission set group i don't think so so let's select only a option as of now second question is to sort list views on the object home page what's the maximum number of columns it can be selected so we discussed already uh, that there are five maximum number of columns which can be selected to sort list views on the object home pages now question number third which scenario illustrates a valid use case for sales action plans first option is a sales action plan can contain 150 task and it is tracked in one strategic tracker second is two sales action plans each containing 10 task and two events are tracked in one strategic uh, tracker third option is one account plan objective containing 100 task and is tracked in four strategic tracker and the last one is four account plan objectives are tracked in one strategic tracker so i believe b option should be the correct one because first one is uh, wrong where it comes 150 task that is wrong then third one is one account plan objective is correct containing 100 task but is tracked in four strategic tracker section so it can have only one strategic tracker section so that's where it went wrong the last one is four account plan objectives are tracked in one strategic tracker it is not a vice versa situation so that is also wrong and for the b one why it could be correct that is a two sales action plans in one strategic tracker that is correct because one strategic tracker can have multiple sales action plans and each can contain up to 100 tasks and the 100 events so that is also correct correct so let's check the quiz okay so yeah let's select the a and b because user record page uh, if it if they are referring to the record page like uh, the account record page that is wrong but if they are referring to user details page that might be correct so we'll have to go with the odds a and b and that is correct let's uh, move on to the next unit which is nothing but hands on practice to view all fields permission so basically if you remember that earlier we used to have on the object level two permission that is view all records and the modify all records but now they have introduced view all fields as well so for a permission set or for a object if we are enabling this permission so it will allow user to view all the fields present on the object even if we are adding any new field to the object they will be automatically having that access of view all fields so basically they will be having access to that view that field as well that new field so that's the new permission they have introduced and now they are uh, we are having a hands on challenge so i'll try to launch this org itself uh, if you are not having a playground over here you can just create new there will be instruction you can click on launch or uh, right uh, after clicking on these three dots you can uh, connect a new trailhead playground as well 
so for this uh, the instruction stating that we have to create a new permission set that is view account fields so i'll copy the name i'll go over here and search for permission set click on new button i'll dismiss this and give the label api name and then the instruction says the description is <coughs> i'll copy paste this as well and enable view all fields permission on the accounts object okay so we will just save this there is no information about the license or the session activation required so we'll skip that now i'll click on the object settings so they have said that we need to enable the view all permission on the account object on the object settings i'll click on the accounts object then i will click on this edit button after clicking on this edit button i will just click this view all fields checkbox and if you can see it has given the read access to all the fields automatically and i'll just click on save button and then uh, we need to assign this permission set to our user record so my user record is uh, trailhead ranger ng i'll just click on this and go to the permission set assignment click on edit assignment over here and just search for view account fields and then add this and click on save click on okay and uh, we have assigned the permission set to our group as well we have added the permission to our user as well so let's check this challenge now let's wait for few seconds sometimes it could take time so this is completed so we have successfully completed the platform administrator certification maintenance and uh, as you are aware that we done we have done this maintenance course for uh, not having our certificate expire so you might still be seeing that due maintenance or the complete maintenance button on your trailhead profile in front of that particular uh, uh, certificate but after some sorry but after some time it will be removed so give it some time so yeah that was it for this video i hope you learned something and uh, you like the video and if you do please like it and subscribe the channel and stay tuned and you could let me know in the comment section if you have any doubt if you have any other opinion or suggestion to make me video uh, to have me video make on for another topic related to salesforce i'll be happy to help and yeah that's it thank you stay tuned